Are you running an unsupported version of Windows, like Windows 8.1 or Windows 7? If so, you may benefit from upgrading to Windows 10. Here's how to do just that. Okay, so you want to know if you meet the Windows 10 system requirements, which I'll leave to a link in the description. And you'll need to run the latest version of your version of Windows, either Windows 7 Service Pack 1 or Windows 8.1. So I'll show you in the end of the video on how to get those updates. But yeah, also make sure your drivers are up to date. And if you're using Windows 7, you may actually need a a certain a, you may need to enable a certain protocol but we'll get to that later so so let's go to our web browser okay so now you what you want to do is click download tool now and that's if you have um, the protocol enabled it's already enabled by default in windows 8.1 but uh you can also download an ISO file using the sidebar in Microsoft Edge. But, um, you can, once you download the media creation tool, you can open it. Might take a second. Okay, so you want to accept this. Now, if you're, if you're using this PC and you're upgrading this PC to Windows 10 then select upgrade this PC now and uh, select create installation media if you're doing it for your other computer and you want to get the ISO file and then do it for the other computer but we're just gonna select upgrade this PC now so click next Okay, so you can also, if you're using Windows 7, you can also uh, use the Microsoft Edge sidebar and go to this page and you can basically download the ISO file because you're basically using a mobile site and the ISO file doesn't need the protocol. But if you still want to use the media creation tool, I'll leave a link to a, a video that's not my video on how to enable the protocol. But yeah, select... Windows 10 multi edition ISO and then select your proper language I'm going to choose English International which is English United Kingdom and then uh, you can choose whatever I'm going to choose 32 bit for the performance of my computer okay now you want to enter your product key and you can also use a Windows 11 product key and it will work just fine um, you can use a Windows 7 product key or Windows 8.1 product key and if it's not activated then you can also use a, a, um, a generic key and I'll put that in the description but it won't activate it. The generic keys won't activate it. So let me just... Okay, so now what you want to do is make sure you save all your documents, close your web browser, close all your apps and uh, make sure that closed in the Metro way as well in Windows 8 and 8.1 and um, install Windows 10 and keep personal files and apps make sure it's selected as keep personal files and apps okay so now make sure you've backed up everything and saved everything and all that sort of stuff now what you want to do is click install Okay, so now you want to select your settings, your privacy settings. I like to keep all them on, but um, if you're 99% of the population, you probably keep some of them off, like uh, advertising ID. You definitely want to keep location on and find my device on, but then you might not want to keep this on or on uh, this one on. But I, I just like to keep them all on. Okay, I know I'm weird. Okay, now now what you want to do is click accept. Make sure you've selected everything that you wanted. And uh, deselected everything that you didn't want. Okay, now what you want to do is click accept. 
Okay, so now what you want to do now that you're in Windows 10, now now you should check for updates, restart, check for more updates, restart, and they keep doing that until there's no updates available anymore. And also update your drivers, which it will you'll see in the optional updates. And if there are more than one optional updates available, you can click view optional updates. So let's say you're having a problem with your mouse. Let's say you you can't scroll. Well, what you can do is check for updates, see if the uh, look at the optional updates, see if there's a driver update available for your mouse, your media, your and all that sort of stuff. Now, uh, you also should go into the Microsoft Store and update all your apps, and um, you should also uh, update the Microsoft. The Edge web browser and your other programs. Now, speaking of the Microsoft Edge web browser, with a certain Windows update released for Windows 10 in February, they released an update. Uh, February of 2023, they released an update where they get rid uh, of uh, Internet Explorer. So, if you are an Internet Explorer user, you quickly uh, uh, go to Microsoft Edge import your browser data you can find it in the settings and all that sort of stuff so make sure you import all that browser data and and um yeah and yeah so once all this updating is done uh, make sure you you know just have everything done so yeah okay so if you want to go back to Windows 7, oh, probably because of your, you know, your error obsession and your coping mechanism. But anyways, if you want to go back to Windows 7 or 8.1, uh, uh, you can go to recovery, go back to Windows 8.1 or Windows 7, click go, uh, cl cl click get started, and then go through the process, and it will, and remember that it will only uh, get you back to the version uh, to the exact point that you uh, to, before you upgraded to Windows 10 so if you added like a file in Windows 10 and you you know uh, change your password especially before uh, after upgrading to Windows 10 then you you'll have to remember all that stuff uh be before uh, you'll have to remember all that stuff and uh then you can go back to windows 7 or 8.1 and then enter the password and then uh okay so if you're using windows 7 rtm and it's not updated to windows 7 service pack 1 or sp1 uh, you may see this screen, but if you've ever ignored it, then you wouldn't have the option. But if you do have the option, what you want to do is basically click update to Windows 7 SP1. And if, and if you don't have that option, don't worry, I'll leave a link to this site below in the description. And of course, this site doesn't work, so we'll go to, uh, Windows 7 Service Pack 1. Okay, now that you've clicked on the link below and you've downloaded Windows 7 Service Pack 1, now what you want to do is install it. So click Next, then it will prepare your computer, and then it and then it will go through some prompts to download it and install it. And then you have to restart and it'll restart several times. Make sure your computer is plugged in. And after that, you'll have Windows 7 Service Pack 1, and then you'll have to download the ISO file using the the you can up uh you can use legacy update to update windows 7 so that you can get microsoft edge and then you can use the microsoft edge sidebar uh, and actually reinstall microsoft edge and then use the sidebar and and then you can download the windows 10 iso file and then uh upgrade from there and yeah Okay, so if you're running Windows 8 RTM or Windows 8.0 without the Windows 8.1 update, the Windows 8.1 update, 
so you may see this screen and you want to click on this but if you haven't seen the screen i'll show you what to do so you click on this and it's probably not gonna work either like it did in windows 7 okay so i seem to have a little problem but um basically you run the windows 8.1 setup and then it's basically the same steps as windows uh as windows 10 and then do that and then update when uh, and then install microsoft edge and then uh use the, the microsoft edge sidebar to to install to download the windows 7 iso file and then upgrade to windows 10 